So we could figure out uh, the uh, acceleration uh, of uh, what is uh, happening here via AR on the A theta. So we had uh, the values. So if the ball is at uh, position R and uh, position theta, of course R is going to change because uh, if you think about it in the R theta frame, uh, the ball is getting farther from the origin. So that's why we're gonna get on R dot and so on. Now, this is the acceleration of the ball. And we can say that uh, the sum of the forces acting on the ball is equal to, zero, uh, to ma. That's what we, we started to do yesterday. So now we wanted to know what were the values of uh, the force by the rod and the force by the guide on the ball. So these two guys. So that's uh, what Noah was uh, saying yesterday. A good idea is uh, so you can uh, take this equation and look at a component along any direction. So one direction that was uh, a good idea, if you want to find f, you take this direction. Uh, actually, no, that direction, the x direction. Why? It's because what are the forces we don't know in there? It is a normal and the force by the rod. So if you take the x direction, you get the component of the force by the rod, but no component uh, from the normal. So your equation then is going to give you something that gives you f rod directly. So that's what uh, we have here. So then you can say that f rod cosine theta, so the x component of f rod, so you can solve for f rod in there. It's going to be equal to ma and its component along uh, the x direction. So why do we have that? It's because uh, of what you have here. So you have the two components of the acceleration, a theta on ar. This is the angle theta. So the x component of a theta is a theta cosine theta. So we have it here. And uh, the x component of this one is going to be ar sine theta. That's what we have here. So now what's left to do, that's what also you started to do yesterday, is uh, to compute uh, AR on A theta. So this is where you use a constraint uh, that is in the problem. That distance here is always 0.5 meters. That's how we can say the ball is constrained by the guide, the horizontal guide. So how do you translate this in an equation? Well, you can say that, for instance, R cosine theta is equal to 0.5. So this gives us uh, the value of r as a function of theta. And then you can take it from there. <coughs> so then uh, it's a plug and chug. You can, you can find r dot, because you need all of this, you see, to compute uh, what is up there, on r double dot as well. So you get all of these values. So you need to be careful when you take your derivatives. And uh, you get the value of A. Since we're asking for theta is equal to 30 degrees, so you plug in what the value of theta is. They give you the value of theta dot. So you get the value of AR on A theta. So then uh, you can solve for FR here. So you divide by cosine theta. You're going to get the tangent here on the thing here, so that's why we get this here. You plug in the numbers that you got for AR on A theta here, and you get this value for the force by the rod. So that's the <coughs> computation. You can also do the computation by projecting along R on theta, but then you're gonna get two equations with two unknowns, so it's a little bit uh, well, it's not, not that bad, but uh, because uh, one of the equations actually is going to be with n alone. That's when you do here the projection along the r axis. So indeed, because to find n, then what you can do going back up there, if you do projection along the r axis, uh, since uh, fr is along theta, 
you don't get any FR component. So if you take uh, this equation and you look at its R component, FR drops out and you get just an equation with N that you're looking for. So you play the same game, you solve for N, you know the acceleration, so you can get the value of N at the end. So you're gonna get, so, what is here? You get this uh, equation for N, and so for N, yeah, you get this at the end. So for the quiz on the Friday, there will be two problems. And uh, one of them will use a, a UR on U theta. So something along these lines could be on the quiz. I'll make this available on the class website. You can PDF that and then uh, create a link. And uh, another problem is going to be um, um, or using uh, tangential and normal accelerations. So for instance, a rotation problem. It was on the omega square. Uh, that is, uh, when you said the acceleration is equal to m e square over r, it's also m omega square times r. So something, so there will be a rotation problem on a problem with uh, polar coordinates. We're going to start doing work today, um, but there won't be any work on the exam. Just forces. So two problems. Let me sum it up. The one which is uh, with uh, border coordinates. So something like uh, or theta, so like this problem. So using these problems, you need to find the constraint, and then you need to um, be patient when you take derivatives. Because you have to do that, this, and that. So you have to make sure you get them right. Yeah, it's not too bad. Sometimes it could give you here, instead of giving you a theta dot, which is constant, they could say, oh, theta is going to be equal to 2 times t, for instance. So then, uh, when you take these derivatives, you would have to, you would have more terms, but it's still feasible. And uh, the second problem would be a rotation problem. So, an example of a rotation problem that we did uh, was a person that was uh, leaning against a cushion. So that's uh, what is on the menu. Okay. So let's continue now with uh, the next uh, chapter, which is going to be work. So still, uh, the concept that you have seen uh, in uh, physics uh, 221, yeah, Josh? Oh, I was just going to ask, uh, would we have gotten the same answer if we had substituted that theta in for QT, uh, cosine QT? Um, well, uh, well, not the same numbers, and uh, the accelerations would be, so no, it would not be, conceptually it is the same thing, mm -hmm. but uh, the derivation would be uh, more annoying. I mean, it's feasible, but uh, you see, because you would have to say, um, so you would get r is equal to now 0.5 over cosine to t. So then you do r dot. Right, but we would get the same answer, and we just have to take into account the chain rule, right? Right, yes, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, here theta dot would be constant actually, so it would be But it might not be constant. Sometimes they give you this. It would be, uh, I don't know, pi over 4 minus pi over 2 times uh, cosine 2t. 